Welcome everyone. Today I want to have a different talk. I want to talk about what I think about the future of Halo and how I see it for an online game. Don't get me wrong, the game is fun, but it definitely has its issues. I think the game has a couple of issues that may become a problem in the long run. For starters, the maps. I don't know how these maps are going to survive in the long term. There's not too many of them. There's like, they're, they're okay, but with the beta already being out for, let's say, about a month before the actual game, if you play this heavy, by the time the actual game comes out, I don't know if it's going to be as fun or if it's going to have as many people. Also, this game is very difficult to play if you don't end up with a team that is good or you end up with, you know, playing with your friends. If you're playing solo and your teammates aren't as good, it makes it really hard because in Halo they tend to group up when they go in. So if you don't have the right teammate, it's fine, you know, like Call of Duty. If you, you can get teamed up, but you can respawn back in. In Halo, it takes you five seconds before you can jump right back into a match. So that is a lot of time. Especially if you're playing game modes that require you, like Oddball right now, to be in the game or capture the flag. It's going to be very important that you stay in the game. And, whew, please excuse me if I say anything that doesn't really make too much sense. Trying to play and commentate, not easy, I can assure you. So I'm trying my best to make a good gameplay and tell this. It's a little stressful, but it is what it is. Anyway. I think that is an issue, but Halo has been a good campaign, so hopefully they keep up with that. Ah, and if they can keep up with that, that's good, but in this day and age, 10 and 2, not a bad first round, but as I was saying before I was rudely taken out, that's not a bad thing. If their campaign is good, we all need a good campaign, but as I was saying, many games nowadays are straying away from that. They are gravitating more to multiplayer and online purchases. Even Halo right now has tier passes that you can get for your costumes. Don't get me wrong, they're cool and all, but... If you don't keep adding more stuff to the map and changing up a little bit, we have the ball. An ally has how much carrier. money are you gonna get out of it? If that makes sense. Ball Enemy has the ball. The game is very structural. Not too many issues, but just the longevity. They might need to push the envelope a little bit. Try some new things to keep the game, you know, fun and fresh. It seems like it'll get stale very quickly. And that is not something you want. And that is something that I fear this game, is. it has its biggest issue. I do not want to get bored of this game by like January or something like that. I want it to last, and the next game doesn't come out till November. So, oh, we got to calm down. So if this is already getting a little stale, what does that mean? What game is everybody gonna switch to?
for you guys. Enemy so what does that mean for this game? An ally has slain Who knows? Barrier. Do you all feel the same as me? Is anybody else feeling like this game could be still? Are you playing it heavy? Are you not even interested in Halo or a Call of Duty player? Enemy has the ball. Enemy has the ball. Ball dropped. <laughs> Power items inbound. We have the ball. Overall, it's still a very fun game. We have the ball. Double. But. Power items available. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to play this. I might get bored. Maybe I have to switch out some games in between. You know, I might end up getting a new Call of Duty. Who knows? Might have to just rotate between those two. This is the main topic was something to talk about. Enemy team nearing victory. I wasn't trying to win. The ball. All right. Grapple shot obtained. Ball dropped. We have the ball. Ball dropped. Huh. We have the ball. Let's see if we can bring this Lost game back. Possession. Enemy has the ball. Can we win? <laughs> nope. Ball. Pretty close game right now. This is almost over. Let him one thing I do notice that Halo has over Call of Duty, it's way its matchmaking is better. If someone leaves, they replace it real fast and give you somebody good. Well, not good, but they give you somebody in your, in your team. Who doesn't want that? They always make sure somebody's in the teams are even. They're very balanced. You gotta love that about Halo. Enemy has the ball. And I also wish there was maybe a little bit more people in here. Like maybe one more per team. I don't know. Sometimes it's pretty quiet over here. Ball drop. Enemy has the ball. Ball drop. Enemy has the ball. Seize the ball. Ah. The ball. What can we do now? Allied carrier down. Active camo inbound. Oh, he knocked me away. I'm trying to get out of here. Active camo. Like all the way out of here. Oh. Ball out of bounds. We've lost possession. Ball incoming. the ball. Ball dropped. Allied carrier down. Enemy has the ball. Got one. We have the ball. Got two. Three. Ball dropped. We have the ball. Ball dropped. We have the ball. All right. See what I can do out here. Enemy has the ball. We have the ball. Allied carrier Thank down. Thank you, teammate. Hostile carrier down. Do I have enough ammo? Toss it in aid. Ah. 
Could there be more weapon choices in Halo? Yes, there could. I like the Wonder Weapons, but some of them are OP. Like, if you don't have the right gun... Oh my. That could be so bad if you don't have the right weapon. Huh. But I do like that your shield gives you more chance. Gives you a oof. Ball dropped. An ally has slain the carrier. We have the ball. I do like your shield gives you. A better chance of survival. But let me all know what you think down below in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.